Hey, what up guys, it's Hippie Mafia here, and I'm going to show off some camps I found while out there wandering, as well as an atom bomb just laying around. But, uh, let's get started. I didn't actually ever find the person who owns this camp, but I definitely like finding other people's camps. Just some people like to pick real you know, off-the-grid spots, and some people make theirs a little more well-known. But, uh, I like this guy's setup. I mean, it's obviously got a little bit of a rodent issue, but... Hey, you know, happens to the best of us. Hey, you know, old Bernie Sanders still hanging in there, hoping for that democratic socialism, not communism. But, uh, you know, here we got a little workshop area, kind of open air. Uh, a little bit of grass clipping through the floor, but hey, that's okay. And he's got himself set up with some water purifiers over to the side. Which, you know, you never have enough water, that's for sure, especially in Fallout 76. Uh, but yeah, like I said, he's right here next to the Slocum's Joe, real near the Dolly Mine, as well as the uh, event that you get to meet the Mothman at. So it's a pretty good spot right down the way from the Overseer's Camp, so it's pretty guaranteed that early players are probably going to find you. And, uh, you know, so that's always a nice thing to get visitors. But uh, when I was going on down the way, I ended up near the White Springs, and uh, I saw this player on the map, and he was sitting kind of right off to the side of it for a while, and I was wondering what he was up to, so I ran around back to see, and uh, it was a camp. I was like, wow, that's really close. And unfortunately this guy's armor is just, you know, kind of sucking in on him. It's a little bit terrifying there. But uh, I was afraid I wouldn't be able to find the guy, but he put his name there, luckily. And so I was able to message him and have him meet up with me actually out gathering things to sell when I messaged him. So I had to wait a little while, but it's okay, it was worth the wait once he showed up. He had plenty of stock, and I mean plenty. Like, this guy is set, but hey, you know, I feel really bad for his stash. He's probably got this one camp he's been moving around forever, and his stash is just to the brim. I mean, this is just on his person. Keep in mind, there's a lot going on. And we did end up trading, which worked out really well for me, because I had been wanting a shotgun, double shot explosive, and I happened to have a handmade that was a double shot explosive, and he was looking for that as well, so we ended up making a little trade there that worked out really well for both of us, and I'm honestly much happier with my trade, and, you know, that's, that's how it should be out there. I really can't wait for player vending. Seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, like I said, he had a lot of inventory. Honestly, it was a little bit intimidating. I wish I had had a little bit more caps, but onto this find here that apparently has been in game for quite a while, but I've never ran into one, and honestly this spot is weird because the first time I came upon it, it had a skeleton in a lab coat with a key card that went to the secret Chinese base under Mama Dolce's, but I came up and decided to hit activate and luckily thanks to all the hollywood movies i watched i picked the green wire and it did not kill me which is great because from what i've read you get about three seconds worth of beeps and then it explodes and kills you so if you didn't die congratulations good for you but if it already happened to you i'm very sorry and you just too late for this video. But thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate all of you. I hope to see you out there on the game and get out there and build some stuff. See you later.